Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video, and today we're going to be checking out a brand new wave of 7-inch page punchers from McFarlane Toys, and the best way to describe this is that McFarlane went back to the 90s themselves and said, hey, let's do Kenner's Legends of the Dark Knight, because this is where it's totally taken me on the whole nostalgia trip. Before we get into it, as always, if you are interested in any of these figures that you see, I will have affiliate links down in the description below. They may not be available at the exact moment you watch this video, but rest assured, I will put them there along with links on my socials, Instagram, you get the idea. So, we're going to jump right into it. This particular comic book is called Fighting the Frozen. And the basic synopsis, just don't want to spoil anything, is that Mr. Freeze gets flung 16,000 years back in the past and gets to fight a prehistoric Batman, Robin, and Batgirl. The guy cannot catch a break, right? So it's our version of Mr. Freeze fighting a, a basically Frank Frazetta Batman. And then Robin's the hero along with Batgirl. You get the idea. So first and foremost, the hero of our story fighting the Frozen, we have Robin. Now, I'm going to tell you, these are not going to be for everyone. Right, they're definitely off, they're definitely odd, but it kind of makes for a fun, different wave. So if you are interested in these, Robin, completely new take, he kind of sort of has a bat symbol going on on his chest, he's got the R, that stands for Robin, for those of you wondering, and basically he's just wearing pants. He comes with the long 90s Tim Drake bow staff, and then he also has the classic Robin knife, of course. <laughs> Again, these are interesting they're not going to be for everyone, but at least they're thinking a little bit outside the box. And yeah, they are definitely legends of the Dark Knight. Also, I do like the fact that they're in plastic clamshells. Very cool. Very old school McFarlane Toys clamshells. Very Marvel Legends, right? I like that. The whole thing is just a whole 90s nostalgia. But in either case, yes, you can grab the brand new Robin. Moving on, we have Batgirl, which... I looked at and I thought, oh, at first I was like, yeah, is it Batgirl? Is that supposed to be Catwoman? It is Batgirl. Kind of go either way with that. But they're going with the whole bat motif. Again, she's like a cave girl. Frank Frazetta, cave girl. Very interesting weapons. Very interesting just overall, I would say. I like her bat grapnel. It's kind of like a claw hook kind of thing. She comes with two axes, the stand. Yada, yada. Uh, the detail on these, these are going to be more for, let's see these in hand. Let's see really what the photos are showing off because there's a lot of stuff to look at. But always remember, I reserve final judgment until they're in hand. You can't really go off anything these days as far as photo solicitations, right? Batman is the next one. You always have to have a Batman right now. This one interests me the most. Robin is okay. Batgirl's okay. It's just not something I'm like, oh, yeah, let, we totally needed those, right? Batman kind of has that comic book look for when Darkseid Omega beamed him into the past. Remember that? It's what, 10 years ago, 12 years ago now, something like that. He looks cool. I actually really like the way this looks. Again, hearkening back, Legends of the Dark Knight. He's got the whole bat ears, caveman Batman, warrior Batman. It's awesome. You give this guy a horse, I think that, that would be stellar. He comes with a huge bat axe. Everything Batman does in either era, ancient or otherwise, has to be very much personalized, right? And then he comes with a big old Batman beating club, which is, again, shaped like a bat symbol. They're always shaped like bat symbols. But out of the three we've looked at thus far, he's definitely on the top of my list. I would love to add this to my collection. So I'm definitely for this one. This one looks great, along with... The fourth figure. Now, this one looks really interesting to me. Again, it's a very stylized take. It's supposed to be the Mr. Freeze that we would know, right? Because he got flung back into the past. But I like it. It kind of looks like a deep sea diver Mr. Freeze. And I totally appreciate the look. I like the two red glowing eyes on the top. Lots of silver. These all look to have some fairly decent articulation. Nothing crazy in terms of what McFarlane's offered before, but at least it all makes sense, and they proportionally look sound. None of them come with extra hands, just keep that in mind, but of course Mr. Freeze comes with his big ol' Kenner Freeze gun. Again, that is very cool. 
but always wait until you see these in hand if you're not immediately on board. Like, there's going to be that fine line where you're like, heck yeah, or like, mm, I don't know about these. But Mr. Freeze and Batman, because, of course, we need another Mr. Freeze and Batman. <laughs> but they do look cool. So I definitely do want these. And the comic book, it'll be fun to read. At least they all have different covers. It's all one story. It's all in this particular wave. So it gives you a little bit of a jumping off point, especially for kiddos reading the comic books. And that's really important. Always get your kids to read, start them at an early age. And what's more fun than getting a comic book and then an action figure? You go, hey, that's that character. I'm going to destroy Batman because he's just in the past. Because, right? So that will wrap it up for my quick look at all of the brand new McFarlane Toys 7 inch page punchers wave featuring fighting the frozen right so kenner legends of the dark knight very cool you've heard my thoughts now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything fighting the frozen and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember now we need to have this particular batman in another comic and he goes to the future for whatever reason and then fights batman beyond because things and when you do let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.